Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and I'm not sure but I feel like it's been a long time since I actually made a video so there's that. <laughs> now for today I'm here to talk about another J-drama that I just finished watching actually and um, I just find it really like refreshing and exciting and that's the reason why I wanted to talk about it today. So um, the title of the um, drama is um, Are You Ready? Hey You Girl um, and it stars Nakagawa Taishi and it's not exactly like a full-on drama it's um, it's more of like a mini series that is some sort of like a teaser for a movie that's coming out this October I think so um, I first heard about the the movie and I didn't know that there was a mini series at first, but when I was looking through like new J dramas to watch and stuff like that, then I encountered this one and it really got me excited, so I decided to give it a go. Now, the story is mainly about Taishi's character, which is um, Furuya Toa, and he is this guy who is really popular among the ladies and stuff like that, but it's not your typical. Um, he's not the typical like main character where he's just super cool or he he's really good at basically everything he's mysterious or something like that it's not like that at all he's just basically a really like boy next door sort of thing he's funny he's silly and the way he's popular with the girls is it's not exactly more of like an obsessive thing it's more of like oh they like him they fawn over him but then at the same time they're not afraid to sort of like call him out or you know so it's more of like the typical friendly classmate that everybody loves sort of thing which is kind of like nice and a distant from the unrealistic you know fan girl base um, thing that we usually see in dramas and but the story doesn't just revolve around him it also revolves around his three other friends so there are four in a group and um, it it's more of like this close friendship that um, this close friendship that they have where they're just silly they um, they go through like different stages of of talking about like their classmates their friendship and crushing on girls sometimes so it's just a really nice and playful and light-hearted um, relationship and series all together but then um, the thing of this is that the four of them would usually find themselves meddling into their classmates affairs when it comes to first crushes love um, relationships and all those sort of things so it's pretty much like just um, watching and remembering times in high school where you just sort of meddle into other people's business in a way but not in a toxic um, in a toxic manner it's more of like just helping each other out a mutual relationship or something like that which I really liked about this drama another thing that I like and I don't want to like spoil most of the detail especially for people who would want to see it but I liked how the spectrum of the mini stories that they get to meddle to meddle on um, in 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 the five episodes of, of the story is that um, one they tackle about close relationships between friends and like not not having to you know whenever like you're two friends and you like the same person so how um, like they they talked about um, the matter of you know if your friendship is really strong then you wouldn't let like a guy or a girl get in between that relationship or maybe your friendship isn't as strong in the first place if something if something as simple as having a, a crush on the same person would wreck that or something and but they didn't they, they didn't really make it into something that's preachy it was still kind of like just fun and and sweet and really really nice and i also liked how um there's this one episode here where one character is sort of just being true about their preference or their sexuality um, and they didn't make it seem like you know just making fun of the character they're not trying to it wasn't like oh 
because um, because the character um, is gay so let's make it comedic or funny or something like that they made it um, they made it in they made it um, seem like you know it's just um, someone trying to be more open or more honest about themselves and just trying to figure out um, who they are and um, and and they made it and they made it so that you know liking someone is not really just about like liking a girl or a boy or whatever it is that you like it's more of um, trying your best to uh, trying your best for that person and at the same time trying trying your your best to be true to yourself too so um, again it, they didn't they didn't make it like too preachy or anything like that they, they didn't make it seem like you know they're trying fun they're, they're trying to make fun of the character it's it's just a very like nice um nice approach to that specific topic as well considering that even if like bl or boys love or yaoi culture is pretty much like a thing in japan in terms of mangas or animes it's still not that much big of a topic when it comes to a more like mainstream level so for this series to tackle on that um that issue without being too preachy without being too um, in your face they just made it seem so natural and so um, non-judgmental so I really like that um, like that aspect of it as well but it's not but again um, less preachy more lighthearted more natural it just makes it so heartwarming and yeah um, and a lot of like most of the characters that they introduced in in the, in the series even if it's meant to be a comedy you can really see some sort of like dimension you can see how pure and warm friendships are um, there's this one part there where um, a girl who is um, they've been deliberately um, um, saying and showing that you know she's not the typical definition of cute or something like that you would think that the girls would be pitting against each other in a way but no there's like a great support system between like girls backing up girls um, girls being supportive of another girl um, so even if like there's this whole spectrum of like boys are being popular boys are popular amongst girls and all of them do like this specific popular person there's no there's no arc in this series where they they fought over the same like guy or friendships were wrecked or bullying happened just because of of petty crushes and stuff like that which i really liked about this series and yeah basically it just ended with a nice note of you know young love and at the same time friends supporting friends and that's why i recommend this mini series to everyone who is looking for you know just a light watch and at the same time like if you're looking forward to the movie then might as well just go ahead and watch it so yeah um i don't know i just feel like talking about j dramas that i really really like in this channel is becoming more of a nice relaxing thing for me so that's why it's happening um and I think I need to stop filming already because the sky is getting darker and darker and I can see how it's affecting the lighting in my video. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Um, if anyone cared to watch this or is interested in the series, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you're new to my channel and you would want to hear from me, please hit subscribe. Um, also, if if you watch the series or if you're looking forward to the movie tell me your thoughts down in comments below that's it for today's video i'll be seeing you again soon in a new one bye <laughs>